Hi everybody, I'm back and tonight I'm gonna finally do the comparison video of the 28mm war Spanish secession troops that I have picked up from well currently five different um, uh, manufacturers. Uh, there would have been a sixth one but Foundry has shipped uh, the figures that I purchased from them almost four weeks ago and I still haven't gotten them so I got tired of waiting so I'm just gonna do this video without them and when they finally arrive I will uh, do a quick video on those and just show you what the foundry figures look like and then you can come back and look at these and decide if uh, uh, which ones you guys like. I'm just, I'm really rather perturbed with Foundry at the moment. It's probably not their fault, although I'm not exactly sure what shipping method they use to ship the figures to me, but um, yeah. So I ordered those things way back at the beginning of August. It's now the middle of September and I still don't have them. They did say they shipped them. Uh, but they're not here so I'm gonna move on so let me show you what I have up here in front this figure is from Old Glory this is Ebor Miniatures Warlord Games Dixon and Front Rank so uh, what I thought I would do is and I also attempted to pick somewhat similar poses that way um, you get to see uh, what they look like in the same type of pose or the same type of uh, uniform cut, so on and so forth. Uh, Ebor is the only one I didn't really have where they were kind of in a march or uh, at arms uh, um, stance. And the Warlord Games ones I've already primed because I was going to uh, do a couple of test paints on those. That's why they're great at the moment. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Now, I'm going to pick these up and I'm going to compare them. Uh, I'm not doing them with any sort of um, bias towards one or another, and I will tell you which ones I like at the end, um, pose-wise or sculpting-wise and everything else. And uh, I'll just kind of go from there. So we'll see how it is. And definitely would like your comments uh, down below. Um, so to begin with, this is Old Glory. And since I can only hold like two of them at a time, uh, this is the Dick, oops, Dixon miniature. I'll just, just kind of do that and I'll attempt to kind of zoom in a little bit here maybe we'll actually get a chance to focus maybe a little more light on this get my big thumb out of the way here sorry height wise they look pretty good together. Uh, it looks like the Dixon miniature is just a little bit taller. But um, obviously the Dixon figure has got crisper detail on it than the Old Glory. So let's put those two aside for a moment. And then we'll uh, we'll pick the Ebor and the front rank. Again, uh, this is the only one that I really had that was not firing. Uh, the rest of them were either in a firing pose or something else, or you know a different type. You can see here. Put that down there. The. Definitely the front rank miniature is definitely taller than the Ebor miniature. By almost a whole head taller. 
and chunkier. If I can adjust the camera a little bit here. So yeah. Let's see if this will help with. There we go. That'll focus a little bit better. Oh uh, yeah, you can really see the height difference on that. The e board miniatures and the front rank miniatures detail wise are excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. A little more light on this. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this on a uh, on a whim, or not a whim, a lark. Yes, didn't really plan it. Uh, take the ebor, put it back there. Here's the Warlord Games, and I'll just compare it against the uh, Dixon figure since it's here. Uh, Height-wise, they're pretty good. Uh, detail, the, there's some nice lines on the Warlord figures and obviously on the Dixon figure as well. Uh, but height wise they're pretty good. Uh, let's do, uh, let's see if I can add, oops, do this without knocking everything over here. So, Old Glory, Warlord, Dixon. Front rank, and then the Ebor. Well, the um, the three in the middle are definitely comparable in height. They're probably closer to a 28 millimeter, and the it looks like the Old Glory and the Ebor miniatures are probably closer to a 25 millimeter. Uh, height. Do I have? Yes, I do. Actually, I have a ruler, so I'll actually put a ruler up against it, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, yeah. So the that's the way those look together. So I can just turn this a little bit. Ah, nope. Everybody's gonna fall over. Okay. Um, Front rank, Ebor, Dixon, Old Glory. Let's just move this out of the way. Let's just see what the uh, Old Glory and the Ebor look like close together. Yeah, definitely closer in height on that. A uh, whole lot more uh, closer. They must be closer to 25. So we have those. Now let's just see here. Uh, we did Dixon already. A little bit more. So Old Glory in the front rank. Definitely almost a whole head taller. Kind of interesting. I didn't. Until uh, this is the first time I've looked at this, so I did not um, uh, realize that there was this much height difference between these figures. Um, so you're seeing it just as I'm seeing it now. Uh, let's put that back. Let's uh, another quick height wise. Get in a little bit. Get it to focus. There we go. Detail on the Dixon and the front rank are actually really good. And definitely closer in height. Okay, uh, let's just see. Let's take the Ebor and the Warlord games. So I don't think I did those two together. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely a height difference. Probably a whole half a head taller on a Warlord games. 
but the detail actually on the Warlord games is not too bad. Uh, the Ebor uh, definitely has, I think, out of all of them, the crispest detail I've seen so far. Now, let's see here. Let's do um, these two together. If it'll stand up. Here we There we go. So not too bad. Pretty much the same height. Details looking pretty good amongst them. Not too bad. Alright, let's see. Is there another combination I have not done yet? Uh, well, let's just we'll put these two back together. that that one and that and then just for size comparison put the warlord games one in the back there so there they are um, again when eventually the foundry figures show up, I will do a single video of those and what they look like. Um, but there you have it, folks. Um, my overall choice, if I was going to go strictly based on detail, the Ebor miniatures are definitely probably the crispest looking figures out of the lot. Um, then the front rank and then Dixon and then the Warlord games and the Old Glory ones. Um, I think, well obviously height wise these three oops, these three are much better together than the other two overall height wise. Um, I don't know. Uh, this is tough. I think if I was going to mix and match a little bit, I would probably end up doing the Dixon and the front rank. Would probably be my two choices for figures. I really, really like the Ebor miniatures, but height-wise, they're a whole lot shorter than I thought they were going to be. Um, so for this project, I would probably stick with Dixon and front rank and maybe on occasion thrown in a couple of warlord, but I think these two are going to, uh, make up the bulk of the armies that I'm going to put together for this. Um, the old glory is nice. I mean, it's got nice detail. Um, I think it's a little bit... Ah, it's not even closer in height. It's really probably a closer to 25 than the other ones. Wow. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, so those are my choices. I'd be interested to hear what everybody else has to say about these. Um, again, my choices are... Uh, for my project, they're going to be Dixon and Front Rank. And um, so, the just to reiterate, the project I'm going to do with these is uh, do the War of Spanish Succession in 25 or 28 millimeter, and uh, use Rebels and Patriots for a roll set for them. So, anyway. Uh, that's what I have. I hope you like this. Um, thank you to everybody who has subscribed in the last couple of weeks and big thank you to everybody who has stuck around with my channel for as long as I've had it, which has been a couple of years. Uh, this will be my 111th video. So that's pretty good. I never thought I would have gotten this far with this. So thank you everybody for your patience with me and for sticking around and watching. 
uh, please like definitely comment on um, what you think about this uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts and please share the video uh, again I hope everybody's having a wonderful week and I'll talk to you all real soon bye